All right, we're going to get ready to sign the Carto Sarong, so trying to get the party started. Everybody alive? Well, that's always a tube thing. One thing about if you win, you wouldn't be able to answer. Unless you want them mute. All right. Y'all all right? Yeah. Certainly. Allow everybody been considering they yeah, sure. Ain't that right? Considering the latter end. Y'all see it ain't getting no better. I hear getting worse. Every day. Ain't that right? I think they had a, I sent out something today. I guess that was the right show. They got some show making hit way now, some reality show where mom's picking men and the men they getting to pick are their sons. They say it's bringing up a bunch of controversy. You got these women picking men, they picking their sons to date. Yeah, that's some show they said they're getting a bunch of head waves. Some people, they getting some kickback, some kickback. Just show you where the world at. Anything that's perverse, anything that's rotten, anything that goes contrary, they'll let it keep existing. Just like in London, you know, the police officer with the 49 cases. Sexual rape, he finally admitted, caught when he get caught, and they know they did that, I'm sure. So they gave him a deal, it don't make sense to admit it. You don't rape 49 women, how many did you really rape? That's, right. That's what they caught you with. Nobody gonna be stupid enough to admit more than that. Right. They probably, they had a problem, a larger number, probably said, listen, just go ahead and sell out on the 49. Those will go with and move on. But they said they got over 800 more officers for rape and sexual assault. They just show what kind of world, I mean, what, what kind of mind you got? I just, I mean, whether police or not, what kind of mind you got you think it's okay to rape a woman? What's your mind? You just go and just rape her and just feel like this the end of it? You just gonna go? And you just gonna keep moving? You just gonna keep raping? Nothing in your mind tell when you locking up other people for rape, what, what do you tell yourself? This guy's a criminal? This guy need to be off the street because he don't know how to rape like me? This guy dangerous to society? <laughs> You're a raper. I just, I just, I mean, to me, I just don't know. The word just, I don't know. I told you it's getting rotten, it's getting worse. Well, I ain't gonna, I, no, it's not, it's not getting rotten, it's what it is. It's, it's getting worse every day when you look at You know, you heard that even men seducing gonna wait worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived, it's just scary that, you know, society think it's okay for people to live the way they live it and just killing each other and just raping, just, just the child molestation is just overwhelming. The fact, you know, this pedal, well, I think somebody said, um, well, they don't talk about that tomorrow, wrong. Uh, just, just the mind of some of these people. I just never thought I grew up in a society where, you know, you know, homosexuals would be able to adopt kids. When I was growing up, it was unheard of. It was unheard of. You seen a homosexual with a kid, it probably was his nephew or somebody, uh, little cousin. I don't know. I mean, I don't remember really. I'm sure it was, but it was never a thing where. This was a norm. Homosexual couples, homosexual men have a child and they got custody of them. Like, it's just scary that, you know, this is the society and the world we live in. And I'm sure it ain't every homosexual that's raping the child or having sex. I'm, I'm almost sure it's not. It's just, you know, to say it's every one of them is to say everybody black still or everybody black can dance. And Chanel broke that law up. So, huh, oh, Shani. I'm sorry, oh, Justin. Shiny. Justin, let me ask you a question. Based off your wife's talent, to tell the truth, do you believe that every black person can dance? <laughs> I can't win that one. I, I, I asked a question. <laughs> they just leave that alone. They leave easy, little man. But no, you know. So I don't. I don't think it's every homosexual. It's just the fact of you know, <laughs> two men or two women saying be a couple. Leave the kids out. You can't have kids. You ain't got no business with them. Just leave them out of it. That's something you do. Go ahead. Y'all do it in however y'all die, however you live. For the five, ten minutes you're on the planet, that's your business. But to give you a child and put that dysfunctionality in front of their face and allow them to see it, there's no way for them not to betray it. It's just no way. You know, you typically portray what you see. And, you know, we need, and, I, and I've been a proponent for it, we need more models. We need more um, 
we need to we need people to see interracial people interacting so people can see it's not true of every white person racist, every black person racist, every Chinese person racist, everybody. I think, you know, for a long period of time, we didn't really think a whole lot about each other races, other than black and white. Because black and white have had the longer interaction. Here in America, I think, you know, besides the Indian, I'm sure the quote unquote Indian has an opinion of both races. You know, probably to them looking at, to me, both of y'all are Johnny come lately, you know, supposedly historically we have been here, you know, passive many of times in and out. But you know, seeing both people argue about who has been here the longest, uh, who belongs here, who America belongs to, who America owns, and you, and, you were, and you felt like you've been here longer than that, it's like, wow. I can't believe either of you having this conversation. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I'm looking at, I've been here, you know what I'm saying, before the mass number of all of you came, either or. And yet, I'm not even in the discussion, which is true. It's rarely you even hear the quote-unquote American Indian even being discussed. The only time you hear people discuss the American Indian, if somebody at the back of their neck get wet, and if that hair get kind of wavy, yeah, I'm going to people to say that. They say, I got, I got some Indian, yeah. Like how you say you had Indian growing up? I don't dress like Indian. <laughs> how many of y'all, go ahead, how many of y'all you to tell people you had part Indian? Go ahead. I, I, I remember saying, I think, I, called, I had a friend, I had, it was too many niggas saying it. And I just, I'll be honest, I, I'm not, I was not finna sit there and look like I ain't have no Indian, so. It's, yeah, and, yeah, I'm part Indian too. I didn't know what part, but just, yeah, something, yeah, cherry, just pick up one, ain't that right? Yeah, right, somebody, um, Cherokee, you know what I'm saying? Somebody was a Pinto, it depend on, depend on what vehicle you like. It's just, you know, I mean. Anytime some kind of money is going to be given out or uh, any type of reparation or appreciation, everybody run and try to grab something. But at the end of the day, we have to do you know, one thing above all things. That makes sure we get our salvation right. You know, everything is going to work itself out. I'm a believer and proponent for that. I want to make sure more than anything that we really uh, <clears throat> make sure we have an understanding on salvation, that we don't go through and waste a whole lot of time, you know, um, not getting it. You know, and that's something you don't want to do, live a whole long period of time, learn a whole lot of language, a whole lot of conversation, a whole lot of verbiage, and then don't get the simplicity of making sure at the end of the day we get it right. That'll, that'll, be, the, that'll, be, the, that'll be worse than any, rep, uh, any slavery, any COVID, any vaccine, anything. I think the most tragic thing for anybody is to die and not be right. I think that reigns supreme over anything you can do. Because at the end of the day, we all gonna die, whether it's a car wreck or choking or in your sleep or uh, misdiagnosis or just, you know, time. Time overtaking. But one thing about it, uh, we don't all have to go to Sheol. We don't have to allow that to be our, uh, our last, you know, uh, our last destination. And I appreciate the fact that we are a multicultural um, <laughs> congregation. It takes out. Why are you laughing at one? I was talking about how we are multi. We are all multicultural. I mean, how many all y'all mixed with some more than one race? Hold on, stop, stop. Leave your hand. Freeze them. Freeze them. Freeze them. Freeze them. What side we start on? Hold on for a minute. All right, put them back down and stop. We'll go one more. Now, this um, Keely, formerly showed the um, the artist formerly show. Please tell me what what you mix with. Cause as long as I know. Have anybody had that conversation with her that she would mix with something else? So nobody had that conversation. How many times did we not have a day we ask everybody to raise your hand if it's something we don't know about that we need, we search though we need to know? Did we not say that? Because one of them fought out, they said, hey, we need type BOA, whatever. And you like, oh, I ain't got it because I'm, I'm interracial. We need to know now. Now, what are the, she done took out running that time. <laughs> well, oh, there you go. What race, what, how many, is it more than one race? That ain't good one. Oh, you want to pull that card? Okay. <laughs> All right, who else we got? Liana, we know. What, what race? Hawaiian? Then Chinese? Then they throw Japanese on you. Yeah, they throw that on them. So she justified. We don't see some of her proof now. Isn't that right? We don't see her. We ain't never seen you throw a luau before. Really? Huh? But you've been over that long enough. She'll take on some. You've been to a luau before? With the pig. 
Well, you can't use Hawaii. Hawaii you plenty of pork. You ate pork when you was over there? Oh yeah, shit, why? Yeah, 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 they, yeah, that, yeah. Hawaiian pork heaven. Hawaii pork heaven. Now who else we got here? What are the other multicultural races? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get the hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta move on. We know you mix with demons and what else? Know what you're supposed to be mixed with? Can I borrow one of your kids? It's one of them. Album. It's somebody's slave. Can I borrow you for a second, her daughter? Can you, just, can, I, can you come in one second, sweet? I just say something. You'll come around this side, huh? Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know she makes. I just tell her, you're good. Let's thank you. Now, you, you, you say you, you what now? You mix with what is it? How many of y'all have even, even Justin looked that? He said, no, that's not what I want. You believe he mixed with Caucasian? Look at him. Chris. No, I thank you. Yeah, black Caucasian. Yeah. Candace said a black Caucasian. What kind? Oh, yeah. I believe that. He got that rough feel. So every day his skin get black and black. Yeah, no. So we got a Caucasian mix. We got the artist formerly known as Shoulder Chanel. She is multicultural. Um, that's the head of hand up. That's how many races? Caucasian, Jamaican, Nigerian. And micro what? How you mix with Negro? Negro is all them Negroes you make. That man said, hold on, and Negro. Everybody, I mean, everybody with the skin got the Negro. The Negro is a giver. That man said, um, I don't know. Can you be black and mixed with Negro? I'm just asking. Is that, is that possible? Like I'm Jamaican and Negro? Is it possible? I'm just curious. Is, is it possible you would them be considered two? Right? The same thing. That, that man said Jamaican, Nigerian. What's the other one? Oh, Negro. <laughs> Spanish. That's tight. Who else? Who else we got in him? Oh, the Negro. The Negro. Know you about. How long? Now, how are you, Lenita? How are you? 39. I, know, I don't know. 39. I've known Lenita about 42 years. And now, what, now what's, the, now what's the nationality? Okay. That's a lot of man. That's a lot. Who else I got in him? Oh, I was at Kasha. Kasha. Cherokee. The car? Kasha, you ain't never told you were part Indian. Oh, they all Cherokee? That's something. His grandma and his daddy side all Cherokee. The mama side all Cherokee. Then his daddy side all Laredo. Like Cherokee, Laredo. Don't worry about it. You got no color. Don't worry about it. Chrysler, Cherokee, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, Cherokee. And, and. But then you more Japanese than anything. Exactly. You more Japanese than the kids. Isn't it? Like, he said, listen, I hate this stuff. He said, I take my black card in. Ain't that right? I don't blame him. Michelle, you mean how many different races? Um, three. Three. What's the different races? Black, black, and more black. <laughs> <laughs> black, black, and more black. Finally, we got one in here. Woo, boy. Just right in here. Just what you mix with? Uh, Indian. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. Indian and who else? I mean, I'm going to say Native American. And Native American, yeah, that's it. Sue India. <laughs> so you stay in court a lot. <laughs> Y'all get in Sue India. <laughs> How do I come up with this stuff? It's like it just be coming to me. Sue India. Oh, that's all right now. Who else out now? A uh hub, -huh, you got to be mixed with something. What is that? A hub, what you mix with? Now you know you got something. He don't know about it. We're going to look at it. Does anybody know how to take his blood or something and send out? What you got to take some blood or something or pull a hair string? What you got to do to find out what it is? Huh? You know what we can do? We can put a piece of cauliflower in front of him, a, a, a baby back rib. You know what I'm saying? Just put the different foods and see what one he, he, go, he go for first and which one he like he struggling with. That help us know. That's the best way to do it. Y'all all right? Man, Santa was telling her, what she meant? Mexican and China. Remember that song? 
Now, one, two of her sisters married a Mexican. So that makes nephew, her niece and nephew, and them half Mexican. They do have some, because y'all related. Isn't that right? But it's still like it's in the blood. Y'all at the family, you got to break it all. You got to put it all on the family tree. Isn't that right? Kier, what you miss with? Uh, he, I need to, <laughs> what y'all think about it? He said we might not believe it. This going to be one for the right. What, what we miss with, Karen? Cherokee. Cherokee. That's a lot of Cherokee. <laughs> who that? Who else? Bahamian and Negro. American slave. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you miss with Bahamian. American Negro, the original seller from Nigeria, the original seller. seller. Hold on, for me, hold on. this is new here. You know something about them? The Nigerians came out here and settled in ba in Bahamas. In Bahamas, I know they had to be slated, and the black folk don't settle. They get captured. They get tied down. What, what's some black people like that come to America to my, here we'll settle. No, no, no. No, here you'll work for the rest of your life. So them say Bahamian, Nigerian. Negro slave and British. Negro How many of y'all have a problem with all these nationalities? <laughs> hold on. But hold on. I'm trying to get this from. He put American slave and Negro. I'm trying to figure, what's the difference? Is there a difference between American slave and American Negro? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, your granddad admit you're trying to convince Keisha. Married your grandmama. Man, a white girl in the Bahamas, and that would be your grandmama. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your granddaddy married a white British woman. Yeah. The first dentist. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a I'm so confused. Hold on for a The first black dentist came here for this side of the Atlantic, came from the Bahamas. But you know, they, are, they, are, they actually equate dentistry with Miss Raim. I know Yeah, with Miss Raim. That they actually were kind of the first people from, yeah, I'm just trying to watch. From the Bahamas, though, we kind of got a little issue that Bahamas thing. But this the first time we heard that, kid. Your grandma. But your grandma would be the white British lady. But you mentioned the white British lady like she ain't your grandma. I grew up seeing her, they got pictures of her. Oh, you ain't saying. Where's she at now? Your grandma. Oh, no, my grandma just passed. She was like 97 when she passed. You seen the. You seen the grandma. Was she white? Not the white lady. Well, that wasn't their grandma. That's your great grandma. You seen the Cherokee lady? She worked that dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting information, ain't it? No, it's just interesting information. But you never know that some of y'all need to try to call one of them Ancestry.com and find out who y'all you belong to. I know hey, um, uh, Jai, he looked at here. He mixed with Chimp. He got a little, he got three quarter bell boom, two fifths eight. <laughs> Isn't that right? Then he 50% coon. Isn't that right? He actually, oh, it's a lot of. He got a lot of nationality mixed up there. That's all right, though. Good to meet all y'all multicultural people right now. Ray, you mix? Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead. You got? Yes, now. What you? Uh-oh. What you mix with? Uh-oh. You got white, they say. White? She has white, they say. On your dad's side. Talking about your dog skin and daddy. Okay. Just you heard that? Okay, <laughs> you don't, but you don't see your damn law. You can see the white in him. No. Okay, then I go. Oh, he I can't believe that. Uh, uh, uh. On his side, sometimes they're American. As a matter of fact, I'm 
Native American. Native American. This is what my, my dad knows. Listen to that. He spent, this girl, like, he, he's registered as, like, some Native American or some Native American tribe, like, some of the girls, like, these t-shirts and stickers of Native American stuff, so, you know, He's registered. Mm -hmm. He might have some paperwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you know your Did you know your dad in law was a registered Indian? I believe Cherokee. Oh, Cherokee. I don't know what it was. That's a lot of Cherokee. Why the folk don't be Blackfoot or Navajo? Y'all know it more Indian than Cherokee, right? On the east side, down this way. Actually, um, the Seminoles coming out from west. Hold on, stop us up. I got a. What'd you say, British? I mean, more further south. Georgia Cherokee. I know Cherokee County. He said the SCC. Oh, they play football? They <laughs> said in the SCC. <laughs> uh, yeah, now go ahead. So Indian, Caucasian. Yeah. You're big. You got a big one and a small one? You say your big grandma? That is amazing. If you have a great grandmama, you call them big mama. Do, I don't know, do white people do that? I'm just curious. But black people, if you have a grandmama, the grandmama before her, if she alive, you call her big mama. Never people call them big. Did, y did your grandma, was your great grandmama living with you were living? She died. She died. She died. She died. They own cars in them. Cars. <laughs> you know, Chanel family don't own family own most of the land in um, uh, Alabama. They say they own all of Huntsville. <laughs> Clear up to Mississippi. My family's in Mississippi. That family, I, I, we heard with Louisiana. They didn't call his granddaddy Raging Cajun. How many <laughs> folks y'all know from Mississippi? Chris, Chris you from Mississippi. Do, if y'all, somebody, if I was from Mississippi, they call me Raging Cajun. Where I'm from? Not Mississippi, though. I had Leon about that. They call him Gray. They used to call him, they used to call him Knife Ward. If yeah, they call you Knife Ward, what part of Mississippi you from? What that sound like? Yeah. He said Grenade the Monster. What's it? He said, the they call him Lake Puncher Train. <laughs> what part? I'm talking about what part of Mississippi that is that leave that Lake Puncher Train? Yeah, know, you know, Lake Puncher Train in Mississippi down there. Yeah, where's that Lake Puncher Train? That's in Louisiana. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Crawford. Yeah, he got him Crawford. He to fight like this. <laughs> and he's only called him Silk. If you fight like they call you Crawfish. It's not, that's not a Mississippi. That's all right, though. He, he meant well, though. Well, it's it too to be a lot. Too to see all y'all. We miss with anything. I don't want this nigga to get by. We ain't got nothing. Oh, we mix with anything. Because all these niggas. <laughs> hey, she was we just pure niggas. That's it. <laughs> we, I thought my dad, you on my dad's side. We had some, you know, you on my dad's side. The red, they, they are though. They had the blue eyes, but they, ain't, they ain't never talk about it. Yeah, so we got, some, we got some blue eyes. You don't just get them from anywhere. You can't buy. Did any of y'all had buy y'all found blue eyes? That's what I thought. So, hold on, Chris. Who in your family had blue eyes? Demons. Don't do. <laughs> He may as well get, hold on. Oh, Chris. So you tell me, late punchy train, night war. Had, Chris, we never had that conversation. Your granddad had blue eyes. I thought you said they said your granddad looked like Joe Lewis. He did, with blue eyes. <laughs> Chris, so, Chris, if we get a mic, can you tell how that story came up? <clears throat> The one hat came up by him and Joe Lewis. And they had a mic. They, you got a mic, tell it. What happened? So we know how this story came up. Because y'all going to go out here, listen, if y'all going to go out here and tell folk that Chris Granddaddy beat Joe Lewis so I had him bleed, these folk going to question y'all, am I not? Y'all going to need some more information, some poor document or something, where you tell them. People say, oh, that makes sense, right? So just tell her. Uh, so tell her what happened with late punching training. What happened? I mean, um. So. So. 
We was all hanging out down in the country. In the country. In what country were there? In Mississippi, Gloucester. Okay, country, okay. The, the country County. on the other side of America. Okay. So we was hanging out, and my aunt uh -huh. found an old picture of my grandpa yeah. from World War II. The old army picture. Old army picture. And my uncle Butler was like, Daddy, you look like Joe Lewis in this picture. Uh-huh. He said, oh, yeah, I ain't never told y'all about that story. I knocked Joe Lewis out. So mm. he said he got in the ring. This was they was doing an exhibition bike yeah. fight in World War II, and Joe Lewis didn't take him serious. Yeah. So he got him and knocked him out. Knocked him out. Look at that. Yes, sir. Well, that's the truth right there. You ever heard it? <laughs> Man, look at him. If you knock Joe Lewis out, you think you wait to tell somebody when you're 150 years old? <laughs> you don't stop talking. Even for as you well a, a street ass, so you know I knocked out Joe Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you, I made, I grabbed Joe Lewis and make him stay right, because Ford ain't gonna believe me. I'm gonna make Joe Lewis right up, no, I'm gonna knock you back, right down, I knock you, because Ford ain't gonna believe it. And sign under it, this is me, Joe Lewis, right now. Because you need proof of this. So then the news got it, and it went all over the world. How long y'all think, if you knock that Joe Lewis, you think they gonna be able to keep that a secret? If you got in a closet and knocked Joe Lewis out, don't you know one of the coats and they're gonna tell it? Matter of fact, one of them coats is going to turn. Y'all heard of a turn coat? Yes, See what I'm saying? How I come up with this? <laughs> and then after that, now, and, and what happened after that, after that story came out? Because how the kids, it's some more to that story, ain't it? What's the more? I, I mean, I don't know. Because once you say, yeah, I told y'all I knocked that Joe Lewis one time. So what everybody do? What you'll do, you just stop or you start asking questions? Oh, what, what happened at that part? I didn't ask no questions. Anybody else say anything? What you talking about, preacher? <laughs> you, you think you in a story like that just say so you're not like Joe Lewis? The Joe Lewis. <laughs> Did any, anything else happen after that? Uh, I mean, was there any more conversation? Anybody else talking? Because uh, that would have still the room, would it not? Yeah, if I told you, yeah, you know, I'm telling y'all, you know, I knocked out Mike Tyson. <clears throat> People were like, oh, you just in that story like that, huh? What happened? <laughs> What happened? And then what he do? Then what happened? So did anybody else? What, what else happened? Uh, not that day. Not no, that day. No, what sir. happened? After no, that? sir. So later on. Later on. <laughs> later on. A couple years later. Some years later. A couple years later. Because that story got to keep going. I asked my father. Yes. If father. he remembered when granddaddy told us that story. Yes. And my dad was <laughs> like, oh, daddy be getting to drink and he be lying a lot. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah, and, and, who, and whose side do you believe now? I believe my granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good story, though. Did you ever tell any of your friend about that? No, sir. Just y'all. So we might not even be a friend. He knew. He said, because you know you told your friend and that wasn't going to end. What, no, like, what made him look at us, y'all, and tell us that? What is it about us, y'all, when he told us that story? See that? Y'all better check yourself. All right, we're going to get ready and go to work. I appreciate it. I need this story. All right, we're going to start off. Y'all know we start and get us a foundation, correct? All right, let's go Romans 15 and 4. Listen. For <coughs> what things soever Nikatab written, Nikatab for our lament. You show us and teach us and instruct us. They're through endurance. They're going through without giving way. And the Nakum of the Kitubim. And, going, and the comfort of the writings. We might have Tikva. We might have Tikva. We talked about, um, we, I, I erased it, the 10th chapter of the book of Romans. Let's see where that go. I think we left off there, didn't we? Did we? For whatever reason, I, uh, we'll look at it again. The 10th chapter of the book of Romans. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. All right, come on. Our Listen, king, brother. the will of my law, indeed, and my palal to Elohim, is for them unto Yeshua. Come on. Let's for I bear them witness. Hold on, stop for a What is Yeshua? I'm just curious if it writes something different. And again, these words, you can, um, of course, we get an understanding from them from the English. And even though we'll go back and look them up in the English, the goal, I, I guess for me, what I try to do, Sometimes, y'all have heard the saying before, <clears throat> quote unquote, the Indians had, you know, people said to understand a man, walk a mile in his moccasins. Y'all heard that before? 
And you know, my thing just say he walks like kind of his tippy toe. You wear his moccasin, he might rather they were kind of shrugged up on his foot. That's why he had to walk like well, or they was too big. Just you know, I'm just making up something that's nice. But you got to understand that when people said that, you can better understand a person's reaction to things if you put on what they had on. Maybe you know what I'm saying. So with saying that, <clears throat> when we look up. Um, the words, even though we'll look them up, we get an English definition to them. I guess I try to get an understanding, like, uh, what what were their, what was their perception about salvation versus our way of salvation? From a Christian um, dialect, of how I saw it, <clears throat> salvation for us, I think for most of us, was you shout it. If you were saying, you're supposed to shout. Yeah, I remember they would equate, if you were saying, you, people would ask that, you, you shout. If you say you were saying, yeah, Christian church early, that's what people knew about. You know, you were shouting, you had the Holy Ghost. If you say you had the Holy Ghost, it was going to, later people came with, like the holiness church that came up with speaking the tongue, Baptist other Christian church looked at, then you shouted if you had the Holy Ghost. So these are things we more or less associated with the behavior. <clears throat> and, you know, I don't know, we put a lot of understanding on what it took for a person to obtain it, you know, to get that point. People just say they confessed and they got it. Um, so my goal, or uh, what should be our goal, I feel, is kind of understanding how they saw things, how they process things. Because you you got to consider <clears throat> the word that was spoken to them, the Debar, was spoken to them in a way that they could understand it. And and it would have been associated on with things that they dealt with. So you had an idea of the process versus when we process things, <clears throat> anything we process, we process more or less in a more modern time, simply because this is where we're at now. But a lot of things for them were just simple. You know, even the idea of when they used the, um, the Olibeth chart. So they, they lived a more simple life, a lot less simplistic. Um, with us, it's more complicated because it just depends. It's, it's so many different ways you can look at a thing to where sometimes interpretations can kind of veer off or not be as complete. You got what I'm saying? Just like, uh, <clears throat> before we look at this, let, before we look at this, let's look at, first I, I would say, let's look at why the act would even come in. How about that? Let's look up what uh, sin. We'll look up sin from the English and from the Abari, right? Which is going to be Katain, plural, which will be the same thing as the center. <clears throat> sin. We're going to play that. Y'all should get a pair. An immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. We know we wouldn't actually use divine because divine will kind of <clears throat> refer to more of a Greek kind of table. We understand what they're trying to say. Basically, some above us. You know what I'm saying? More or less. And divine play with divinity. And then you start dealing with theology. So people say, I have a degree in divinity. Y'all heard people say that? All they were trying to say, they had a degree in theology. <clears throat> okay, and you break the theo, that same thing, you can go in theoretical. So it's a lot of different ways they can play, you can play with words. So I want to, hold on, hold on, before you go there, please, kind of, sir, let's, let's see that again. You, you got a picture sent in? For those that wanted, she took a picture. So this is what I want, it's an immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. Be, let's look at what uh, moral is. So play with some, since we're using words, let's look at them and, and, and kind of get an idea. <clears throat> You'd be surprised if you set, set people down uh, in, in religion, I mean, in the same religion, in the same room, and you'd be surprised how everybody processes things. And, that, and that'll be based off a few things, how, how your rearing plays a part of a lot. You know, it's, just, it's a lot. Some things, um, depending on how you grew up and how you saw things and what you saw happen, it, 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 it hampers a way. Or it can enhance a way you see and you perceive things. So <clears throat> you look at just the, in First Corinthians, I'm sorry, <clears throat> one in ten. It tells us, and he said, "I uh, beseech you, ask maybe Palau, ask, um, or maybe the beseech is encouraged, you know, maybe strongly encouraged that you uh, all speak same, same thing. thing. And the only way to do that is everybody have to know the same thing." That's how, that's how imperative it is that we all know the same things and we understand um, from, um, I guess, from where things originate from and you deal with that group of people because that's who the conversation was to. <clears throat> Just like uh, in 834, you don't have to get, we got to write an air. You can write 8 and 32. 
then said Yahushua Yahudim. Why he just said to everybody? Or just say, now with that conversation, him saying then say Yahushua to those Yahudim that are among on him, it's more or less distinctive to who he was talking to. So is that to say no one else was around? Because you're distinct in the conversation to me leading that they weren't the only person, only people around. So you saying that to them, again, you're looking at the fact that they believed on him. That would be based upon what we know. So based off of what we know and your belief system, it's easier for you to process what I'm saying. I can engage this conversation with you. You got what I'm saying? If you don't see it that way or you don't understand it that way and you're not a person that's a believer, then I'm not talking to you. Because it's going to be like, like people say, people use the conversation. Y'all heard that? What, quit being a dead horse. Y'all heard that? Think about it. If a horse is like, typically when a rider is going, he's hitting the horse to go faster. Come on. Ah, y'all remember? Y'all, most of y'all, yeah, they be hitting the horse, you know, they snap because they're trying to get the horse to produce more out of it. So if the horse is dead, it doesn't make sense to do this. So that's the sense or that's the, that's the practicality of trying to teach people or have the conversation of salvation with people that don't believe it because they don't see it that way. That's not the culture. You got it. When we deal with these people, <clears throat> you have to look at their culture. There's no way not. It's like if I'm going to describe the native Indian people, I got to deal with their culture. From typically what, you know, when you deal with them, you just go back to early Native history. I mean, Native Americans. Most of the time they show the TV. You would see them with a horse, with a saddle. You would see them, they have on like the vest. You know what I'm saying? You'll see them with the, like the short sleeve shirt, something, the vest. Yeah, I remember, how many used to watch the, the old cowboy movies? Y'all yeah, remember they used to be riding with the saddles and then they would have the, the vest on. Remember that? Now, I'm going to put you five chicks by your name. <laughs> There's no way you remember no Indian around with no saddle. Only time you seen Indians around with saddle when they were later. A lot of people they felt like saddles restrict the animal. It was. It's a lot of weight. It restrict. Look, you taking it and you tying it at the bottom. You and it's it's across his belly or across her belly. You ever watch they tie? It's a belt. You're pulling it. We have, it's tight. It's across their belly restricted. And the Indians felt like he should ride free. You don't ride him. You ride him. That's the ride the animal for who it is. Don't put that restriction. Put the weight on them. They rode the animal loose. That's their culture. They wouldn't ride with the shirts and other things we wore. But, you know, we'll look, we'll say, man, look at these people. Next. That's their culture. So to understand them is to understand their culture. You know, no doubt somebody rode, rode with a saddle and wore boots. Look, they were stupid. They wore moccasins. I mean, that's stupid. I wouldn't wear no stupid stuff. I wear boots. That's because that's your custom. And because that's your custom, anything outside the way you do things, and I'm guilty of that. I'm, I'm told, I've been totally guilty of that. Because when you don't understand customs, then it's going to be an issue. Because then the way people do things, it just looks stupid. It looks look dumb. It looks retarded. It looks ill And that's simply because you're processing it from your culture. Y'all got it. <clears throat> so now when we look at these things, we have to look at it from the culture of the people from where they were at and how they, this is the thing, for everybody that takes what we call the word, we'll go with word, uh, <clears throat> nothing wrong with word. We say the bar, that's his, that's his language, what we believe is language. Okay, <clears throat> if we're gonna go back to that point, or just deal with it English, how we just keep it English, you still at some point, then it cross us to say, how was it for them? What was their perception? I mean, dealing with them. Because sometimes you'll think as though they were having the English conversation and they could have been like right here, but they weren't. I don't think the geological location place, when I said it, it was important. Don't take, don't take me wrong on that. <clears throat> but I think it's more of the conversation and how they process it. He talked with them and gave them things based upon, you should know these things. You, I, mean, I hear you accountable. I didn't allow you to just kind of go through and Make all these mistakes and keep going. I didn't. I, I, was, I was strict on you. I cut you off. Quick. You think about Adam. You, one shot. So what, was his, what had to be a processing level of what he was getting? Probably didn't understand nothing. He probably sent up, probably, duh, I mean, come on. Uh, what, what you say? I mean, if I gave it to you and I hold you to that kind of strictness, what has to be your processing? What you say? Got to be. It makes, I, otherwise, it don't make sense. I can't go take a baby and whoop a brand new baby behind. You know, you've been here for six months, and you're still pissing on yourself. I'm going to beat your behind. Don't make sense. It's not there. 
Because you think about when, for most of y'all, for parents, how many parents have got a him? Small kids, or you many kids got enough. What, what, at what age do you start popping? Anybody give me an age, earliest age they can remember popping? Probably one. What was you popping for because they wouldn't go to the refrigerator, wouldn't cook? What was it? Touching something they weren't supposed to touch. Do you feel like it was fair? Do you feel like they didn't know they were innocent? They didn't have any idea or you popped because you, you know, I told you, and this was to guard you to get you back or because you keep doing it, I feel like you process enough at that age, you should not be doing that. The latter. Now you talking about a one year old, and that's right. It's only certain things you're popping for, cause you like I told, cause you and you only gonna pop them because I watched you, and I know you. I'm saying when you know, tip you pop a child, you watch it and realize I know what you know what you're doing. Like you can what you doing? The kid jumping. You you like you doing something, and the fact that you jump says you knew and you didn't want to get caught. Like at dawn when they hit when he call. Because you didn't know, you've been standing right now. What? What's up? What you mean, what's up? I mean, I don't know what's up. Because you'd be like, he said, oh, he's, he retarded. He don't know. You keep going. I mean, I just, what I'm going to say, you retarded. Because you heard me come. You should have knew I would come to break your neck. But the fact you standing there talking about, yeah, what's up? I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just chilling. Ain't nobody doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But you see what I'm saying? So you start looking at how long do you get? You know what I'm saying? Or we need to be at a certain space or place to where we can pick things up better to where we don't find ourselves in so much of a enigma. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it's still a lot of complexity when you're dealing with our writings, okay? With translation. ain't just with translation, because you still got to go back. And these are things a lot of time I don't think we really consider earlier. You really have to go back and deal with that culture. See, unlike, like, okay, like, say like Islam, okay? The difference with Christianity and Islam, Christianity does have a similarity. If you look at all of their laws, they all kind of portray from, from biblical teachings. Doubt, why I can't kill a man? They say it's wrong, unless it's in self-defense. The same way it was, or it's by an accident. That's the same thing your book had. If it was because I was in defense of my life, or if, if someone accidentally kill you, the law does have provision for that. It does not grade a man the same way as our law did. So that were provision put in. So if you look earlier, their law of Christianity played a lot to do with their law. Even with school, you did not go to school and you weren't taught some scriptures. I don't know, when you were in school, did they teach any Bible or... or Y'all had to recite anything from the Bible, or did it play a part when you was in school? I'm just curious. Y'all had to pray? So, so you see that? They had prayer in school. Some school, even you look at a lot of um, um, private school, Christian school, they'll do that. Notice, because they, they'll keep the religion as a part of the education. <clears throat> when you deal with Islam, Sharia law plays from the Quran. Because they look at it, there's no way to have it and it not be a part of your everyday living. Now look at our living. Even with Christianity, Christianity has nothing to do with what these people are doing. Christianity plays no part. You be, it was things you didn't do. It was certain things a woman couldn't do. It's certain things she were, listen, that's a whore. She's a whore and she will look down as a whore and that just got that. Because those were Christian values. You didn't, if you drank on Sunday, you snuck and you drunk. You, you were not out drinking. It was forbidden. Chris, I remember growing up, you went to a bootlegger. You put it in bags, you stack, you're about no street drinking up and out. They're like, what you doing? We did it. Don't get me wrong. I was hot there. I was, but you know, it was just certain things. You bought it on Saturday night. It was like, Chris, no, at 1201, look at store shut down. When everybody moved here from upstate, now Florida kept it. Florida always had that. That blew my mind. I remember the first time when uh, uh, Walgreens went in Florida in the 90s. I had never heard of Walgreens. <clears throat> and we went in there, and the guy was with, he got the little sale paper. And I'm trying to figure out why was he getting the sale paper. He said, I'm trying to see what look on sale. I was like, a sale paper? Listen, the liquor was in the sale. You know how you got a little sale paper coming in? This Tanger Ray, then the, listen, listen. We in the store looking through, uh, I'm just, I'm sitting here like, 
What kind of store is this? We buy liquor from a drug store. And it was just, and it was just annoying. He looked at the sale paper like we were like trying to see maybe it was chips two for one, or was the drinks like three for twelve? It just it threw me. But that was, you know, what I'm saying that was normal for me. It's like Georgia, we don't even sell alcohol except from the only place you can get is a liquor store. You can get it from a drug, like beer from a drug store, but tip you gonna get it from a liquor store. And you're gonna get it on Sundays, you're gonna get it from a bootleg house. So these were customs. <clears throat> and I say that to say how they moved away from even their so-called quote unquote Christian ethics. And now I'm just saying a lot of stuff, it was just you didn't have in here. Let me tell you something. People that couldn't come here in the early 80s. Prince. Couldn't come. Y'all remember the, the artist named Prince? Prince was banned from Georgia and Alabama. He would sing and he would touch himself him. A lot of people made Michael Jack stop that stuff. He be doing all this him. No, no, no. That Christian Brad, they're like, no, you can't do that. Most of y'all, they banned them. Madonna would go to jail. A lot of y'all, y'all were kids. They would lock Madonna. Listen, Madonna be on stage performing. The police standing right there. Behind. When she get through, she go to jail. She do that like a bird laying on that bed, rubbing herself. They let her know, you're going straight to jail. They're like, you can't, you can't be sitting out here. Now look at, now you get up here and get butt naked. Bring these niggas up here. I want to get these, get these hoes off the stage. I want these niggas. Do y'all understand this is how our culture has changed? Listen, if you were on stage rubbing yourself, listen, they let you know, listen, you can't come back and do no more, you can't do no more concerts here. Two Live Crew got banned. Most of how many of y'all remember Two Live? Y'all heard of Two Live Crew? They banned Two Live Crew. They been, oh, so horny? You got girls on stage with bikinis. They let them know. You, you can't perform him. They let that man, you can't, we can't have that kind of, that's a bad ethic. Look at where we at now. Look at what people can look and say, because even the little, the little falsism of Christianity held some form of, to where they looked at, you can't do, them guys knew, you're not going to make no money in Georgia. You had to go up there with them freaks and let them do it. You can't come down here and rub on yourself. You ain't getting no shower. You ain't going to be international. You ain't going to be on no stage and on time about little Nick and you gonna, you're going. you not grinding him. They're like, man, we don't, we don't play that even though people might have done it. They look that it's dangerous to put that in front of people and dangle the carrot, as they say, in front of the baby. So, and I say all that to say the importance of why we need the structure of our uh, religion and how it was actually formulated. We need to get down to the roots of what they saw, what they knew, and how they processed things. This is what, because this is where we get it. <clears throat> it's just like it was. Church is church here. Once you're out of church, then it's world. Just like it was for New Year's. You go to church, 12 and 1, he needs to come on. I came out, you pray, get all that so you don't get killed. Because people always get killed New Year, now you don't want to get killed for New Year. Y'all know whenever New Year coming, folk die right coming up to it, and folk die right when it comes. So you come down there and pray. Let the man say, let me pray for y'all for y'all. Go out in the street, go to the club, and then you <laughs> And you be looking, it's out the 12. And preacher says, I'm holding somebody. Somebody gonna go out there and get killed. You say, five more minutes. I gotta wait, the man just throw the jinx on me. They tell me one gonna go out there and get killed, trying to run out there. So you gotta hold off, can't run out right there. So all these things, but you know, you looked at. I need to get this in. Let me at least acknowledge him first. Maybe he won't kill me. Maybe won't. That's not even our mindset no more. They've pushed us so out of culture, so out of the way to where people want the newest writings, the plainest reading, and no understanding and still be saved. It makes no sense. Unless we can look at what was their understanding about it. For me, what was their understanding? Because I want to know what they knew if he granted this to those people. What did they understand? What did they process? You talking about we have, we have so many different ways the language can be broken down. You know what I'm saying now? And so many different ways you can pick out key points of writings. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have that. This is just plain. That's all it is. And they understood it enough to be able to receive the Ruach HaKadah. Ask yourself, why people don't get it in growth and grow the way they did? Why people don't get it right after hearing now? We're a lot more intellectual. We have a lot more technology. It's, listen, if I'd have gave one in the book, and I just had in the book of Yes Yahoo, I said, and 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 and, and read where it said that the spirit of Yahuwah is upon him. The rock of, you know how long it take him to get to that? Do you understand how much reading they would have to do? Through this one sefer, because it's not numbered. 
it wasn't, ain't no verse to go to. You read till you get there. That's what they told when they gave you hoosh when they opened it. That's what the place was. They say, oh, the man opened it up on book chapter 53. He couldn't have told you that. Where it was open, at, that's where we pick and we read from. And these people read. And these people, a lot of these people were reciters. So you're listening to make sure you mimic. You got it? And that, that becomes a problem. You have a lot of mimicking people. We mimic a long time. Now we got to make sure we come in and we understand. We got to learn how to process. You know what I'm saying? To make sure I understand the rationale of why I need to be saved. I don't want, why you need to be saved? Well, I mean, because you're supposed to. That's not an answer. Who told you you're supposed to? They start for what? And they say, well, that's like you questioning. I'm not questioning. If I don't know, then you can't expect me to perform. You can't. Y'all jump up here and do a routine dance. I jump right up here. Why this stupid fool can't do it? I'll be honest with you, because I don't know it. Well, you can't be that stupid. Just, just get in there and try to do what you can do. And that's what we've done. We've jumped in the middle of a routine, and, and people are, and we're afraid that people are going to say we're stupid because we don't know instead of just saying, I don't know. I need to understand why. We've joined groups, associations. We've, we've done so many things over the course of our life. If you get a certain period of age, you do kind of go back over your life and realize how many things you really did that didn't make sense. And you don't when you're young. For a lot of y'all, you, you won't do it. And, and I ain't mad at you. It takes you to burn yourself out, kill yourself, make so many decisions you have to face every day. And look, it's decisions I have to face every day and look at it and say, wow, you were really stupid. And the only reason why that happened, because if I don't see it that way, it's going to be hard to break me down and get me to make changes. Because I say every decision I ever made was a good decision. I've always made great decisions. I've always been a good decision maker. I've always been key point on it. He said, no, you haven't. Not if you got here. Because you had that, there's no reason for you to come. I ain't talking about here, but reaching the point of seeking salvation. You got what I'm saying? To me, there are certain things you need to kill. Why were you even looking for it? For me, it was conviction. Conviction for wrong. Some people just stumble across it. You know, I was listening. You know what? I said, you know what? That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't, you know, okay, I got that. That won my testimony. I think it can be as calm and cool as that is. What can really persuade you to get who you get to the more earnest part of yourself? Y'all got what I'm saying? To me, I think it's almost like when he talked about the city of refuge. See, they understood things like that. That if I was doing something and that wasn't my intent, okay? But it still fell out to a point of this is wrong. And when the and when and when judge and when they catch you, the judgment come down, they're gonna give you the letter of the law. They're gonna catch you here. That man or that woman's gonna be dead. Now, whether intent or not, they're just gonna go flat with what the law is. This person is dead, and you the person done it. And all we know is to kill you. Now there's a city that you can flee to. And when you flee to that city, that city is off limit for the person that's trying to avenge the person that's dead. Y'all got that? So now, <clears throat> let's think about this. I hypothetically just did not uh, hypothetically just kill Eric. Accident. Not intent. Never meant. I couldn't believe it happened. I hated it happened so bad. He has a son. Or three sons. And his three sons look that. All they know, they got a dead dad and Tony Smith did it. They looking at, I got sons. They, they need to suffer the loss of a daddy just like they suffer the loss of a daddy. Now, I got to get ready to flee to that city if I don't want these boys to lay down the execution of the law. Got it? Now, to get in that city, now, I won't have time probably to go and kiss the wife and kiss all my grandkids and go see them, go by and see my mama. Because them boys on the move. They done hurt their daddy dead, and they ain't waiting. They ain't looking now. So there's some things I got to look at. I just got to let go in order to save my life. Now, some people say, that's stupid. I go and see all my family. Yeah, but what if they catch you before you finish? And because I want to live, there's are some things I just got to look at. My life and me living right now is more important than trying to run and go see everybody I know and tell them I'm finna get ready to go and explain to them and do the crying and holding. I got to go. I think when you see that, a person can't consider now when you tell a person about leaving father and mother. Because if you look at it, all of us are in or have been in that position.
to where you, somebody in pursuit of you. Somebody in pursuit of you for your life. Because you, let me see, they use immoral. Let's find that. Let's sit at home. Whether they're concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior and goodness or badness of, that's why we can't use stuff like this. Human character has never been right or moral. See, this is the problem you start looking up sometimes because this almost attests to or, or, or validates man behavior that man is the, is the mark that you should follow for right and wrong. Man sets the protocol for right and wrong and morality. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. That's all it is. They told you what sin was. It was immoral. Then the way they told you about the writings were almost, if that's how you see it. But they basically, they stated to you that it was an immoral. Okay? So basically, it's when you don't have the principles of right and wrong behavior and goodness or badness of human character. And human character is basically against everything Elohim has established. That's how you got into the state where we find that so many child sexual uh, explo ex exploits or whatever we call it, uh, exploits. This is why we have homosexuality on the rage, people killing one another, because this is human character. And man will lie so much, he will try to act like he has this, this uh, epic or this, this characteristic or this ideal of principle living and it's so right, and the majority of people, or there is a mass of people with this morality. That's the people who killing people, these are the homosexuals. The moral character of man. How do you think man gets it? How man does it? That's his character. What is man, making it up? <laughs> That's his character. That's right. So he's come along to establish and give us the characteristics of Elohim. Right. If man's character was that, why would you not let man mimic man? Why is that such a drive to mimic him? Think about it. Man, moral character, right and wrong, all this is a human character. His judgment, and this is moral, his moral. So why would you need to learn anything about the laws and principles of Elohim? All this, man teach man how to do right. Man show man how to do right, because man can't do it. Man had done what he's subject to do, what he want to do. That's man basically in. Man does not want to control him. Man does not want somebody to show him to do. Man wants to do itself. And that's why man is killing himself. That's why man is on destructive path. Because he will, and Elohim is to the point where let man go and see for himself. You will be the killer and destroyer of yourself unless we come back and understand the ideas of Yahuwah, the existing one. Why wouldn't I follow him? Let me see. Basically, he tells me something to do. Why should I listen to you? Because I exist. You're going to die. I always will exist. If you want to exist, follow the pattern that I set before you. Y'all got it? Try to get your mind wrapped around the ideals that I established. It's for man's existence. Look at what happened. Man is killing man. Things around man is killing man. Elohim is killing man. The principal ideas he set up were, I'm going to teach you some things that will keep me and you from being at odds with one another. Then I'm going to give you some things that's going to keep you from being at odds with one another. Then I'm going to set boundaries around you. All of these things are set so you can actually exist. You can learn to trade and deal with one another and exist, but man got his own idea. Look where we are now. We everywhere. Everywhere's being taught. Now, where's, what's, tell me today, what's a good, safe place to go live at? How about growing up? What place did any of y'all always want to stay? Hawaii. Hawaii. Why Hawaii? You've seen all the games, so when you go to Hawaii, you always want to go. I'm going to tell you now, growing up, now, what price is right. I don't know why that. It was always Puerto Vallada. It was always some Mexico. Who remember that? It was always some Mexico. And they made Mexico look clean. It was a ship going to Mexico. I ain't going. I guess all the four prices are right, Mr. Mexico. I mean, they said, Puerto Vallada. I, mean, I said, yeah, I wouldn't go there. I mean, everywhere was on it. Everything was, you didn't realize, what was that shot in California? Yeah. You no, know, when they said, all you had to do was walk down the street. In the street with Puerto Vallada. 
I'll just give you that. What's another? They used to have another. What's another place? St. Saint, Saint Lucas. St. Saint Lucas. St. Lucas. That was, uh, who said who said Lucia? Who said Lucia? Come on. That was just, we was in the spirit then. So uh, he said, he mean Lucia now. Now they, I thought they got a, they got a St. Lucas in, in Mexico. I don't know. Did that sound Spanish? Who y'all think I'm asking? Somebody black? No, I'm saying, don't know. I think it's St. Lucas. Have you heard? Is that sound for me? Uh, who am from Mexico? I'm a, hold on, who? Cabo. Cabo. Yeah. Yeah. It's Cabo St. Lucas. What spirit we got you putting that study together? Like who who been teaching you? Who is that? Who you say? That's scary. But anyway, they were calling some of them names. That stuff just sounded anywhere you want to go. But okay, so at, at looking at this, now we, we're looking at, and let's go back to sin. So basically, an immoral act considered to be. So when you say consider, is that actually what it is? Or that's kind of in a sense you're saying, you know, this is what, you know, they say it is. But because they let you know immoral, they underline that the act or act considered to be a transgression against a theological law. Pretty much put it, but the immoral and getting to more is what I'm kind of looking at. Let's look at how, what they're saying sin is. How about that from what they're defining, go back looking at what they say sin is. That's uh, ka kata or hata, because they're going to say C-H, then they're saying H-H -H sound. This is another issue here. Well, no, because uh, the ka is argued to be the H, double H sound. Ha, the ha. Because they tell you the C-H makes a ha. The C-H don't make a ha, not a hocking sound. So it's argumentative that it's a double H or the C-H. Based off of the ha. It's going to be hard to convince me that's a CH. Let me ask y'all in English, and I'm not asking for Does the CH make a H? It makes more of a K, a K, does it? I don't know. What y'all saying? A CH? Raymond? Depend on the language. Yeah, depend on the language. Okay, so they're, they're trying to say that, but uh, uh, they're saying Kata. Kata is what they're saying there. And th this is what it actually they're saying it is. To miss or fail. Let me borrow it for a second. Right now. Right now. Right now. Good. If I hit you on save. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. And that's on me. He ain't I ain't ready. Come on. That's on. Oh. Come on. Come on. No, 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 put that. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm just bar for something. It, it, it got bad. Come on, here come. I don't, I, don't, I don't want you to do nothing. That's all. They hit her, I'll be right. Miss. Miss. And, and the reason why I look at that is simple as you know, fail. We know this on test. But, but think about this. They hit her, I will be right. Hey, you ever did so y'all gonna hear you get mad with yourself like this is how they would have perceived kata, sin. It means that's all you missed. You missed. It's not about morality as they put it for the human part or grading yourself by man. Because they said we're not as other to judge ourselves. What is it again? Or by ourselves. And so doing what would that make us? So I would never use another human being for our pattern when it comes down on that idea. When we do, it will be based off the idea of a person that has met all the measure and requirement of what we deem to say, that person saved. That person's been received. That person has been acknowledged by or for their works. You got what I'm saying? So the dude, hey, y'all ever throwing you like you meant, just like shoe. You think your mind, you think this and that thing, oh, how you feel? And, you, and then you gotta get your head back in it. You're like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It'll mess you up. So looking at how they look there, and it says it's more plain. They said, let me see. When I threw that at her, let me borrow you one more time. Let me see. Hold on. If I hear them right, y'all got it? Immoral, um, supposed to be divine. <laughs> Who processing like that? They're processing it just like this. I miss. Now, what was my intent? Now, there's two ideas. Did you purposely try to miss? Or you did it, and your purpose 
was to be right, they hit it on the target. So these things I'm trying to look at for me, I want to process things away. Because again, look, I'm having, when I pull out, I can't pull out off of, um, you know, according to your bereft with uh, Shaul and Cuff. We go back to Abraham, Yasaka. These men, well, they were caught, they would have been on a more primitive. You know what I'm saying? Yet they received something that still today can't be disannulled. You know what I'm saying? You'll know something, it's that it never existed. Do you understand? From the time period that he made this bereft, this covenant with this man, do you understand what man had gone through from this time? We had no Malak. We didn't have, the only Kohan we had ever seen was Mount Sadiq. And none of us seen him from right. And we had the only person who came to the country that we knew was Abraham. And Abraham paid tithe to him. Abraham, at that point, the man went off the scene. We hadn't seen another to Louis. So since that time, for that time, nothing disannulled from all the acts, all the feet that happened from that, nothing changed that ever comes. You know what? That's, that's about, don't even worry about it. Abraham. Let's, we're going to just move on from him. No, this is still established. So the fact that it's still established, it's going to be hard to convince me to say, why you worry about such a primitive language or a primitive behavior or a primitive way when that primitive way is still a step? Mashiach came because of that. Concerned it, this is why he came. So now with all of the different groups, from us to Yehudin, other people say Yehudi, Abari, Hebrew, everybody is teaching the Torah. Yet the Torah came into play after. And yet people have, now the argument coming on with Christianity is the law done away with. But everybody can agree, Abraham still standing. Yeah. Ain't nobody arguing about that. No. Nobody arguing that Abraham has done it on the way. No, the man had a relationship. He said, I counted this man as a ray. Uh, this man was a companion. You see what I'm saying? This man stayed so in line, in tune to what I, what I, what I, um, so what I suggested, what I gave to him, to where I will keep this with him. And because he kept it, that's the only reason why we're him. Because he kept it. Concerned that he told him that through him, all going were going to be Baraka through him. And you got to take Mashiach out. And you can't disannul Abraham. If you do, you got to disannul him. That's how he connected his soul. And just saying, well, all that happened now, coming in what people call grace and true, all that done away, now said Jesus coming. Yeah, Abraham still existed. So why would I not want to go back and find, as he told us in the book of Kof, out of Kof, 1 Peter, when he talked about a wish salvation, he said the Malachi desired to look into it. He said they desired, they wanted to look into it. They were searching what or which, what amount of time this was going to happen. Now we come and we're in a time period where it's already happened. And now we had to come and say, wow, what kind of relationship did you got? How did he process that? What was the thinking? What was the conversation? I mean, why would I not look at it? Nobody pray according to the bereavement you made to Tony Smith and to the Nobody, It makes no sense. But we're going back to this primitive man, this ancient man, you know what I'm saying? And yet this is still alive today. What he said he was going to do to this man and for this man and through this man. That's why I'm intrigued to want to know the culture, know the behavior. And looking at how he came into a place of people where I only saw one I take. I take the nephew and the wife. I take the man and I moved and I took him out of them. But the rest I left. And then periodically what he do, he come back and he'll take one from them. So just showing how he took. And then people want to know, can a clean thing come out of an unclean thing? Isn't that right? And none of us could have ever done it. Right. Alahim could. Yes, sir. Can you understand? He went and took a clean thing out of an unclean thing. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So this 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 intrigues me. Now go ahead, generally, figuratively, to, to morally fail. I couldn't use this. This this makes no sense for me. I just, I really, that makes sense because if moral, moral morality is going to be set by man's character or man's culture, I couldn't use it. Hello? This is the same thing he told us with Yasharal in the 10th chapter of the book of Romans. For they being ignorant of who was in there? All of him's, all, listen to all of him's moral and going about to establish their own moral and have not submitted themselves to the morals all of him or what he called right and wrong. 
Yet you're going to put this on human characters. The human character is the basis and the idea for how we should conduct ourselves. You couldn't possibly. Not because, because the book is given to man to show man correct the measure of his behavior. And man will only take what fits him. That's why he moved away. A lot of things man agree with. Adultery was wrong. Years ago, man, you could, you could arrest people. You go to jail. Military, they put you out the military for it. Now everybody doing it. After the Navy had the tail hook scandal, everybody doing it. That was Almos. You remember the tail hook scandal? You remember that? You remember the tail hook scandal? Wow, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. When I get through, put your name on the board. Put your name on the name. No, that's why a lot of Admirals and all, they had been sleeping with a lot of the um, lower ranking women. They had a bunch of sex going on with them. And they had to go ahead and let them retire. That was a big mess called the Tailhook Scout. Y'all don't remember that? You remember that? It was a big mess. They all got busted for sleeping with them. It was a wild, it was a big mess. So they called it the Tailhook Scout. You know how they do. They ain't going to let them boys go without. Let them just kick them straight out and do what they did to somebody else. You know, lower rank where you just kick them out and you dis under discharge and let them lose their benefit. You ain't giving them no Admirals like that. But it's been going on. You hear, remember hearing about the tail hook scandal? Well, that's because they ain't going to talk about it much. Why are they going to let you look at them like that? That's, I mean, that's just it. So, you know what I'm saying? And so, with, with, with doing that, that, I just wanted to understand where we're at, okay? So, Qatar. I basically look at it as just, you missed. Okay, you went on. You, you missed. You got You off target. So, to tell me I missed, that tells me there was a target I needed to meet. There was a measure I needed to meet. And they just told me I missed. That's what he said. Every time you met Qatar, you missed. Now, now, this could come up two ways. You did this intentionally or you did it ignorantly. Y'all got it? It's only two ways to commit Qatar. How's she going to do it? Now, when I was doing that, I intentionally did that because I was doing the illustration. Y'all got it? So it's only two ways you can, you can do this. You're going to purposely miss or you're going to miss because you're just not right. Either way is dangerous for you. Either or is dangerous. Y'all got it? So if we understand what he's grading us by, and you can see now, now we need to find out what is the violation. Let's see 6 and 23 of Romans. Romans 6. Romans 6, 23. Listen. Let's see 6 and 20. Listen. 6 and 20. Listen. For when you were the Abedim of Qatar, so you were... We look at now. We know the servant, and can we see what a servant is? Because a lot of times, you know what we be thinking about? Somebody who might bring you some tea or go get you something. Let's look at how, and we'll look at it this, we'll, if we could look at it both ways, so we can try to get to the clearest point of how they process. Y'all got it? Do, do y'all know, um, how many of y'all don't remember the definition for process? Don't remember. A key ingredient for it, they told you. That's, that's a chemical. That's chemically doing something. They, so you say, I'm sitting down, I'm trying to process what you told me. What chemicals are you, what chemicals are you using? I mean, you can use the endorphins and different things. People might say in their mind and go for their end. And, you know, they use that as a saying or when they do things. But I want to make sure I really understand how they saw it. Y'all got what I'm saying? That's what people do. If you ever gone and you ever watched National Geographic years ago, they would have the white explorer who sit down with the natives. He would do, he would sit down with them and eat. Or he would sit down and do things, and he'll turn around, he'll say, Well, if they hunt it, he'll be right there with them. They'll stew there. He'll stew. He said, What they're doing right now. And he's telling it because I'm on the scene and I'm sitting here. <clears throat> so I'm watching the culture. I'm learning. I've been going out with these people. And you'll think when you're watching them, he popped up. These people have spent one to three years with these people. Because you really want to get an idea of how they do things. When you start to talk about the kids playing and at what age they take, you start watching. At what age do they determine it's time to take you away from playing? Because now, like, unlike us, we say when a child is 18, 21. Isn't that typical we say 21? There's, there's, no, there's no native culture, like what they call native. Nobody let a kid wait until he's 21 before he start getting responsible. 
they start pulling you away from that early. Because they look at the way we process things, by now, you, you need to go with us. You know what I'm saying? You got a bow on your back or a spear. They're like, he's a baby. No, he's not no baby. He's going to start hunting. When she get five, when she one and two, they run. They can run around naked and mud up. She getting five and six. No, no, no. She need to come and start, start learning how to, how we break up stuff, taking the, the, the stone that we busting up, some are breaking up. It's time to start training for him. Shaul said when I was a child, how he thought? That's how he reasoned. That's how he put things. When he became a man. So when he became 21. Think about this. Think about it. So what's your age in your mind? He said when he became a man. Tell me the age y'all got. What age in your mind? Anyway. 18. Okay, when he became 18, that process. Now, from the book, he looked at 20 years old. He started counting the man to be responsible from, from what they put in the book at 20. So you look at how early they started. Like, mama, y'all gonna, they waited till you got 18 before you start getting responsibility? How old you you start getting responsibility that you can remember? So we have a 13, they start moving. They look at, by that time, it's time for you to stop. You know what I'm saying? Your plan lessons. You got to lessen the plan because we got to get you more toward responsibility. Us, well, you know, let them be a child, be a child. When a child get up, we wait too long, and that's why they never mature. Yeah. I'm behind it we, because this culture makes them late. No other culture does that. It's true. No other culture. A lot of kids around, you get 18. Okay, you 18 now. It's time now. What, so what I've been doing all the way up to now, all of a sudden, I'm finna jump up, and now I'm finna have this great responsibility. Right. I got this great maturity. Right. It doesn't happen. That's why we're losing them. Because we wait too long before we start maturing and putting them here. And it takes too long before they get there and say, okay, I need to get myself together. Give them they want to get themselves. We're out of time right now. The average of I got 40 years old. 40 years old, they start saying, you know what? Man, it's time for me to get serious. So what you been doing for all the money year? That 49, 40 years old put you in the place and said, man, you know what? Man, I got stuff, man, man, shoot. Man, nigga ain't gonna be here long. <laughs> nigga, you been playing for 40 years. That's bad. We, 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 we wait too long before we process them with responsibility. Well, you gotta let them grow. We got, look at where the generation at. We, they're computer savvy, but they're Dumb when it comes down to maturity and for life because we don't want to get a response. Big response, they get make up their bed and that, they get 10 times to do that. Tell you, make up the bed and do it, slap piss at you. Oh, make up the bed. Now I got it. You know what I'm saying? Make it up right. They make it up. One side drip this way. The, the thing ain't straight going across. It look like, it look like a bunch of bullfrogs on the cover jumping up all them lumps in them. Because there's no, it's no push to be. To try to, like, okay, your book teaches tell me complete. They call perfect. Complete, I finished. That's complete. Did it, that's a, if you did what I told you, they'll say, oh, good job. That's perfect. But then they look at it was tell me. That means complete. You did it. You did what I asked. And we don't have a push to make them do that now. We don't give them enough. We set the bar so low for kids now. There's no reason for them to do anything. Because we don't, we don't, we'll say, you know what, uh-uh. No, I'm not for you. Too stupid. You can't do it. We gotta start maturing them early. He said, train them up. What was that again? Wow, wow. So that would make sense why they would take him out and start them young as a hunter. So when he grew up as a man. When he get 59, he'll be sitting around saying, "You know, man, I'm trying to find my find my place in life." You 59. You need to go to a, a Kenny Memorial Funeral Home, get you a mausoleum, or get you a holding ground. You can leave him. This is too, you don't wait 59 to start trying to find what you want to do in life. Your life is over with, buddy. Y'all hear me? I'm just saying we can't, because this has happened, because we have a lack of realizing how important it is to teach them, to really show them, to really impress upon them. Because we lost our coach. Our coach, no, no, he ain't going to get to play that long. It's time you get serious. You got to get something. You want something? You better go get your job. We say, I can't have something. Nigga, you better go get you a job. Like a job? I don't want to need a job for. I don't need a job. I'm a kid. <laughs> you want something, though. You want grown folks stuff. Get a, I mean, they tell you, get you a job. When you tell a kid that for, oh, you don't want no job. You get a job, you have working for people. Like, that's what you do. Yeah, you don't want no job. Now we're going to get the wrong, we gave the wrong idea. You know what I'm saying? And, and we can't afford to continue the same way. Now, what we're trying to do is process salvation. But I don't want to process it without understanding first what's the purpose of it. 
What state was I in? The reason you said I need it. I walk in. You pretty healthy guy. I'm a doctor. I'm bar for a second. What's this, this, this? You need a heart transplant. I'm going to take your heart out. Exactly. He said, good. I don't know. <laughs> Based off of what? Why would I need my heart to that good, TBO? So now, I mean, that, that, that's critical. You're talking about cutting my chest. Take, for what? I need, is it enlarged? Is it, is it operable? Is it failing? Is it cancer? Is it a tumor? The doctor just told me, I need the price. Why? I need to know the need of why. And, if, and what I'm going to get, is it going to be better or the same? I was talking to somebody last night, me and Michelle, for a few hours, trying to get in the process, though. And I tried to give him to understand something. He hired somebody to do something. And they did the same as that job the first person did, and nothing been done. I said, I said let me ask you a question. I said, um, you play football. Play football. I, said, I said, say this. You're on a team in your position. I said, a team never won a game. Never. Never won a game, right? I said, that's what you, in your position, doing what you do. I said, I can do the same exact thing you do. The same exact thing you can do. I said, the team picks me up and lets you go. How many games we win? He said, what? I said, how many games we win? He said, oh, I mean, they'll win. I said, no, stop. So I said, listen, what you do, on the, you on the, listen, they don't process fast, too many hits. I said, what you do, I can do the same exact thing you do, equivalent. Okay? They've won no games. They put me on the team. I can do the same thing you can do now. I said, how many games we win? He was still trying to process them. But I'm sure she said, none. He said, hold on, hold on. What, what? I said, none. I said, I was trying to get that. I said, you went and hired somebody to do the same exact thing the first person did. They did the same thing, and nothing happened. I said, what are you expecting to happen? They were still stuck on how many games we're going to win, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's what people like. They got to kind of, listen, get all the greed, these folks get the greed, but processing this stuff, the chemicals just not kicking in. Right? Now, I try to get people to understand there has to be a difference. And the reason why I say that, too, we can't afford to come through and do the same exact thing that people came before us that missed or missed because nobody wanted to take time to say, well, let's just stop and scrap this whole thing. Let's look at what's the need. Because I'm being with you. It don't make sense to obtain salvation unless you really see it's a need for it. Because like somebody, come, I remember years ago in the 70s, people come out and knock on your door. They used to call them, bathroom clean the cell. How you doing, ma'am? But could, can I show you this? I want to show you real quick this herb, this herb, this, this herb. I need to show it. You said, if I'm, you're wasting time, I'm not interested. I already got one. I need it. But it was a, it was a good sale because they, they knew the average person didn't have them. Back people were sweeping, people were sweeping carpet. So when the vacuum cleaner came, it came and it was a need. You know, when last time y'all seen a vacuum cleaner salesman? You ain't gonna believe it. They ain't gonna believe why. They ain't gonna believe it. Huh? There's it, it, no need. The reason why salvation is still out here and we're knocking at your door, it's a big need for it. And, and as a matter of fact, the need has increased. Because man has increased. Which means Katain has increased. Because man has continued to miss them all. He's continued to fail. And he doesn't know why. He thinks salvation is just a word. But it's something you need to obtain because you understand why. You're missing the mark, son. You're missing the mark every time. Y'all got it? Okay. They'll do it in life, people understand that. Son, you ain't marrying up to the man your granddaddy was. Son, you ain't married, or you ain't the woman your mother used to be. And, but why don't I want to look at the mark that he established for man? When he said, you, who's, you ain't met the mark, who should have said? And these are based upon him accepting ideas. Because I'm not impressing them upon you, I'm offering to you. These are suggestions, and if you weigh them and you consider other people that hadn't taken the advice, I tell you, listen, walk down that street, we got it's a big hole, you don't fall in it. And everybody going there and following that hole, you keep going. At that point, you got to realize how intelligent are you? That you keep walking down the same road, following the same hole. It may, and sometimes, when you say, you know what? I refuse to keep going down here and make, I refuse to go and make the same mistake that people made, but they're following the hole. This will be our, fa our forefathers, our predecessors, the predecessors before us, correct? So now, you look at your predecessor, they fail. They miss, why wouldn't you take the time to make sure you get this right and say, let me consider. That's all. At least, like I said, consider what I say. Let us consider that there is a need, but you, it's not a need if that's not something that you're really trying to do. 
Y'all got what I'm saying? It's not a need. Now, they got some tickets to a, I know it's funny, to a, a gay ball, a gay festival. There's some people, it's a need for them to go. I ain't interested. I have no need. I have no desire to go. I don't need to, you know what? I'm going to get one just go see who else going. If you there, that's who going. You ain't there trying to see nobody. You there trying to get somebody. So there's something you look at. I, I just don't have no desire. That's not a conversation for it. This, we need to talk. That's a conversation. I want to make sure I get this right. But I want to make sure I understand it because I don't want to say I got some or say I'm obtaining some or say I'm in seeking or some and I ain't even in, in the ballpark for it. Got it? Because I don't really understand it the way that people understood it, who he actually intended it for. Now, he intended to their first to them, then to their benign. So what was their understanding that, that they had to get it? Their kids getting it were going to be based upon what? The parents teaching it to them. The kids weren't going to pop up out of nowhere. They were going to be taught it. So this would continue to be some understood. When they came out of Mizraim, he said, when I make my bereave, I make it with them. What was it again? With them who? That was here who had seen. It wasn't with everybody with that. It only with people that had gone through the events. So you would say, you say, man, that thing, that sounds beautiful. I want to get that. Was you there? You ain't got part a lot in it. That's how it look. It don't make sense. Because the people I came to get were in a particular situation. That's not your situation. So is this something you still want to hear or get? Or sometimes if you find out, if I can't get it, how interested am I in it? Other than just to be nosy. But I can't get it because it, it's not for me. It wasn't pertaining to me. Y'all got what I'm saying? So now, they were to teach it to their children because now their children come along. They want to see them doing this. They're like, what, what, what is this? The herbs? What is this? The drinking? What is this when y'all set? What is this? This is when Yahuwah came and delivered us. You know, he became a, he was a yasha. He delivered us. He rescued us. Well, we was in a house of bondage, house of slavery. What happened to slaves? Well, as slaves, you can't do what you want to do. When, we, when he came first and approached us on coming out to him, we couldn't come. Why? Because it prevented us. Y'all got it? Having an Adon, a master, prevented us. Well, you said Yahuwah is an Adon. He is a master, and he overrides every other master. He became our Yasha and delivered us. So we recognize him as being the Adon of Adon. He's the Adon of Adons. Y'all got it? Simply because he delivered us from all other ruling powers, Okay. Every time we went to captivity, they were different captivity. None of the captivity were exact to Mizraim. How do we know that? He told us that in the 28th chapter of the book of Allah Hadabarim, they called Deuteronomy, that we were going to go in ships. Did we go to ships to get to Mizraim? No, we did not go. Yet he told us ships, and he said you were going back to Mizraim, which meant that particular slavery was significant over the others. You did 39 years in one place, 18 years in one place. You did 70 years. You did 400 years, 430 years. So you went through, why weren't all the rest of them like Ms. Ryan? Because that show you the same way it works when it comes down to committing Qatar. No one sin is exact. They all equate to, now every one of the captivity was slavery. Make no mistake, all of them was slavery. Every act of those slaveries were different. If I commit fornication, I tell a lie. They both got the same equivalent, the, the end result, but they're different. You got it. So we understood no matter what captivity, what sin we were under, he delivers. He's a, he rescued. So I think if you say deliver, maybe I might put it with, what if we can put with deliver? Think who? Free? Free. Save. How about pizza? They deliver. No, I'm not being I'm saying, come on, I'm thinking, think, we're in a modern time now. Who thinking deliver in slavery right now? Think trucking? They did, see? See what I'm saying? So you see why I say you have to kind of understand? You did in a modern time now. We can say, well, I think about slavery. You can do that, but that's not as prevalent as it was. So you got to look at what we typically know with deliver. Uber delivers. So what we're going to say, Uber is a yasha? Pizza Hut, look, they're Yasha, that's the difference, okay? Because they all deliver. We're looking at rescue. What do we typically look at rescuing? That's an emergency situation. Just like we look at an uh, ambulance. We pull, pull, when they cut the light, we look at, this is a rest, this is a dire situation. This is an emergency. 
So now when we process what he did for us, he just delivered. He rescued us from what? So great a death. What is the amulet? Listen, they typically set ambulances up, fire department, based off response time. I would never, they would never put the Kanye police headquarters down in Augusta. And when people call in Kanye, take off from Augusta and try to get him. What's going to happen? You ain't going to believe what he said. Am I all hang a near or one fall? Because they learn if you're going to be a rescuer, you're going to need to be there. Guess what a mother do with a new baby? She would take the new baby and put it in the basement while she set up on the third level floor. So when something happens, she can get into consciousness and get up and run down three flights of steps to get down to that baby. Most of them, someone will put the baby in the bed, put the bassinet on the side of the bed, until the baby's able enough to be in another room and you're going to put the little walkie-talk in there. And now they got the camera. I don't just want to hear you. I need to see you. Just like Yahuwah looked at. Listen, because you are so new to this thing, Chris, I need to keep you right here in my sight. Can y'all understand that? Yes, sir. So you got to understand how they look. Look how he dealt with them. He taught them how. how kind of like he said, like, how a mother, will she forget her suckling child? Who would understand that? A mother knows. She out working feet. If I don't work, that baby keep crying. Stop what I'm doing. That baby got to eat. The baby got to be nursed. This is, this is something I have to do. I put down. So you whoever let us know, I was working when I heard y'all crying at Ms. Ryan. But I responded and I let you know what I, it was just like a nursing mother. I heard my baby. My baby was in doubt. You, look, you come to the, you jump up, you come, and you look in the, and the baby choking. You say, oh, look at that baby. Is that choking? Ooh, look at that. You, 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 you can do it. <laughs> huh, put, put your baby fish in mouth and make it throw up. What you do, your baby choking? You snatch that baby up. You start petting that baby. You start trying to get help. You trying to get him. Get him. I need to go. I need to get the baby. I need to get it. That's what he saw. He said, that's how I saw you. I rescued you. You were down. When I, but see, if you don't see it the way he saw it, then what rationale he going to get from me? I'm you who I saved you. Oh, oh, I appreciate it. What's up? That's what's up. Like Josh said, you know, that's what's up. <laughs> no. What was my condition? What was my situation? Because he's looking for something. The reason he keeps, keep, why you keep saying that? Why you keep saying, because I'm expecting something from you. That's why I keep ringing up every time. I, you said, this man had to say this every time. Till I can get it through your head. Till you understand what condition you were in. Can you understand where you was at? But if you felt like you had some morality and you had some rights and you kind of got off from your rights, then you understand what I did. I'm telling you, your right was wrong. If you turn right, I say you went wrong. Now, how I went wrong when I turned right? Because I told you to stay straight. See, that? but the way you process it, if right is right, Every time I do this, what I'm doing? Where I'm going? See, that's how I process it. All you got to do, turn right. He said, but I told you to keep straight. You ain't going to believe it. If you did that, that's right. But you did this. I'm going with this. This left, I quit wrong. This right, I'm going to quit. He said, go straight. Why? You want me to go right? That's right. But if you process it with your morality, then I mean, you're going to keep bumping here. Y'all all right? Yes, Does it make sense when you sit down and consider why he's not, why we're not the reactionary people we're supposed to be? Because we're not processing it the way he's looking at it. Do you understand what condition you had? Okay. I'm going to tell you who you get tired of. Them cancer survivors. All that pink. Pink, my, I'm about tired of it. Football player can't pink on the shoe. But let me tell you what, you know why when you think about it got the attention and why I why I be sick of it? I'm not a cancer survivor. So what's the I don't get it. Talk with somebody who went through it, who 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 was diagnosed to an end, critical end to you might not make it. You ain't gonna make it. And you made it out. And if they're saying pink is what we wear to represent the survival of it, 
every time they send me in pink. He said, you got to wear pink every time. It's because of where I was. I want to acknowledge it. Okay, this is, this, this is the group. This is what we're talking about. Do you understand what condition you is? He said, well, red. Well, wear it on your heart. Wear it on your heart. I ain't talking about the color red. Wear it on your heart. That crimson, he came and he put down to cover our heart. He used red to come and cleanse. And you know, it does not make sense. And I remember in um, elementary, they had paint colors. We had, now the paint we had, y'all, 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 for this paint we had in him, this stuff stunk. And it was in a plastic thing, and you had a brush, and that brush was sticking. This paint was hard. You could build a house with this paint. Okay. If people still living right now in houses, they're painted with this stuff, and it's holding up. This stuff was thicker than plastic. You put it in, you turn it, and they would teach you how to mix colors. When they had black, this was blacker than black. This was really bad. And you put it on the paint, the paper smell. You couldn't do paper. You did this. Because I'm telling you now, this paint was thick, and that's what they held on to. But it's, they would teach you how. I remember you ran out of a color. They would come and teach you how to take colors to make them. You said, I'm out of it. And they'll take colors and show you, you can mix these two, and you can get this color. And I ain't paying no attention because Kim wouldn't give elementary. The paint stank. I don't know if I was high. So I'm really not paying no attention, but if that's what you say. Okay? I ain't going to be no paint mixer. But at the same time, he looked at how he could take red and he could make white. And he mixed it with cotain, which is black. Now, you can't take red and black and make white. He said, I can. Because I associated your cotain with something like darkness. Not that darkness was wrong, but in the darkness, you ain't going to believe what happened. You limit on what you can do. Hello? You are. Sometimes the lady stay dark, the less you do, otherwise you out. What? When it's dark, that one most of us sleep. Ain't it? Yeah. That's what happened. So the longer you stay in the obscurity, guess what happened? The, long, the more easier or more susceptible you are to what? To falling asleep. So the longer you stay in your cotain, the longer you are susceptible to wind up dying in it. If I kept you in darkness long enough, eventually your eyesight will compel to it and give in to it to where it'll, the straining of it will push you to a point of just, there's no need to find it. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead. And, and guess what happened? This happens with Katayim. The longer you stay in missing, think about it. If I keep shooting, keep missing. Justin, Leon, y'all point guard. Who else was a point guard? Hold on, stop. Hold on, hold on, stop. I ain't gonna want, I only want to look at everybody. That, this is tight. Let me see all the people. I'm going to close my eyes. I don't want because I want all the people who are point guard, good point guard, hey, raise your hand. I'm going to get rid of the thing. I'm scared. Who the other one? Okay, I'm scared. I see you. I can see someone. Oh, yeah, I see you. I ain't said who's to point at the guard. What the? Hey, God, get him on this cell, not them. Okay, we know that ain't true. That ain't true. No. You was in Greece, you probably would. Y'all cut the heat down. I know it getting hot out there, kid. See, when them folks get to tell them live, what thing heat up out there? Not that. You was a point guard. That's right, because your daddy was a detention officer. You said, hey, daddy. Hey, that's my daddy. <laughs> Dwayne was a point guard. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, he pointed at dad. I forgot about that. So Dwayne was a true point guard. Yeah, because you'll have a true point guard too. We're not. He was a true point guard. So, well, so uh, if you keep missing, what, what happens with this? You get better, worse, the same. So it gets discouraging. It gets discouraging to make you want to stop. Because you like, yeah, yeah sometimes make you don't want to shoot. You know, sometimes why? Because you look at it, it don't make sense if I keep missing. I'm not getting better at missing. I need to just stop it. Just stop what I'm doing. Nothing drives up to a point to come back and sometimes you'll go back and say, let me work on that. Work on what I did. And make a, some people can't adjust. Some people, now, they stay out. It gets in their mind. They can't readjust. Sometimes it can be a readjustment. And what happens with us sometimes just to stop is to readjust to consider. The missing sometimes, if you hear you, you're like, man, like everything I'm putting up, I'm on fire, I'm going. And you take for granted till you start missing, you realize I need to consider, I need to readjust. That's what happens with us. It makes you to, it, nothing now sparks us to make us consider. We just buy into it and we just succumb to it. He wants us to consider, readjust. See, all the things we're doing in life, we'll readjust and do and try to correct. When it comes down there, if I miss it, I'm out there with it, I guess I won't be saved. That's that. 
Y'all got it. Just like the, do the goal move for you to get better. You got to make the move. You got to make the move. If I'm, if I'm dropping, if I'm hitting, I'm short, I need to get in closer. Or I need to put more on it. It's only two things I can do. Am I correct? If I'm miss, if it's going falling short, what I do, stay at the same edge, I need to come up. What y'all suggest? Come up, what you say, just come up, stay back, stay. If I'm missing, if it's short, if I'm sit, if I'm shooting past it, I got to do something. Take something off of it. It's all, it's all the thing you reconsider to do. Why we don't do that when they come down our salvation? Oh, yeah, sure. Why we don't look at these things? But a lot of things in life, we'll make adjustments. We make changes for to try to correct to do better. But when it comes down our salvation, man don't really sit down and put a whole lot into it other than ain't right, then he don't want me to be right. Versus if I want you to be right, I want you to not to know you're wrong. How do you know you're wrong? I know because I don't want you to be saved. Well, I mean, I, it looks like everything I do wrong, he don't want to be saved. How do you know everything you do wrong? Because there's people out here doing what they're doing, and you think they know they're wrong? It's to an end where they say, you know what? Everybody wrong. Keep partying. Why he didn't let you get that mind? Because that part of this is how we rationalize stuff, because you look at other people. You don't want to just base what you do off of other people. Other people can be more dampering than helping sometimes you use them for your measuring when it comes to your salvation and your sure. Again, considering you missed. But now all we're doing now, like I said, we come back to reconsider so we can make the adjustment because the goal is to get on target. Y'all got it? Yes, so that's what we're trying to do, understand what we're doing. A servant, let's see. Ooh, appreciate it. A servant. What's the a person who performs duties for others, especially a person employed in a house or domestic duties, or as a personal attendant? Okay. What does it say? What is a a a, a bod? That's interesting, though. We can use that. A bod. That's how they pronounce it. A bod. A bad is how they look at it. It means to work in any sense, to serve till, to enslave. So they look at to enslave. It talks about a person just working into a house. So they look at the bar. So one of them, number three, would be uh, to be enslaved. Enslaved would make sense for us on the end when it comes down to us committing Qatar. According to Yahushua, in the eighth chapter of the book of Yahushua, I'm not doing a lot of writing. I want y'all to focus. I get what I'm saying. Uh, in the eighth chapter of the book of Yahushua, he talked about, you know, they called John 8. And about 34, 30, he talked about whosoever commit kataim, okay, who, whoever missed the mark, he said, you're an abad. Right. And he said, an abad don't abide in the best, alone. not alone, not, not for a long time. Let's look at how they look. Cause let them, give me the number on forever. So you said forever. Give me the number on forever. Yeah, they looked at a long time. So you look at time, how long, look, look how a lot of time look at time. You look at summer, when, when, what we call the summer when it comes, you look at how the day stretch. You say, whoo, boy, it's taking a long time for it to get dark. When you look at when it comes, even you, you look how they measure things. He said, behold, I come quickly. So you look at when, it, when, when the winter time comes, people are like, man, the sun sure fall and went down fast. He says, how come in, behold, I'm coming quickly. Y'all got it? So people, I mean, you can measure time. Because look at these watch you use. These people are saying here, Man, they're going to be forever and ever. Nobody knows what you're talking about. They just know it's a long time. Because they're processing things, how long things continue, how things, things go. So people process them based off how they look at how things work, how long you wait for things. Y'all got, he talked about how the husband, uh, which is the, the, uh, the farm, he waited. What was he waiting on? He was waiting on, he waiting on the, uh, the precious fruits. He was waiting on, he, he knew it, the way he knew he put it right. Tell you, so now he said, wait on me. Based off of what? Based on how the husband do when he plants. When he plants, he eats then? Yes, See, now they, now they got this seed. You throw it down, everything come up fast. Guess what a lot of this is done to at the same time? It more or less dampens your desire to wait. Microwaves. Man, I remember we can listen. Uh, listen, you were going to eat all them pots coming out the refrigerator. That jelly stuff going to have to break. And uh, y'all remember them pot, that, that fro, that, that jelly. Look like, I, I said, you can pick, you can pick something out of all that jelly like around that thing. You say, I want this jet. Yeah, go ahead and eat it. You'll find what it is. <laughs> Put that thing back down there and heat that stove with that thing. Melt down, start going like it never existed. You learn how to wait on things. 
You say, I want some cornbread. You want to take about two. You didn't realize how it really, when these microwave came, Jiffy Lube came, and I said, Jiffy cornbread, that mess, you couldn't get no cornbread like that. You couldn't cook no cornbread in no five minutes. You weren't making no rice in no five, no three minutes. You weren't making no rice. You had to take that rice, cook that rice, that rice got to set it cook. You want some rice, your behind finna wait. Throw that bun, you finna wait, that rice got to cook. Now you, gotta, you may got a bag, throw that thing, success. Throw that junk in three minutes. And it's in cold water for two minutes. Water heat up one minute on that rice. It, we, we never, but see, think about what, what we didn't consider. How does this work with your temperament when it comes down your way? I grew up, we didn't have no microwave. It was all stove. It's all you had to put on, and you couldn't put it on hot. Get what? You had to put it on, you cut on hot, you gonna burn it. You had to let it go. It gotta work itself. That jelly, like that jelly stuff. But you, you already knew it had to wait. That jelly gotta melt. That stuff gotta simmer and cook. And, get to, and look, when it get ready, you like, man, that thing be ready. But you had to wait. So now when Yahuwah told us to wait on it, you, you look at for us, we like everything quick. You still gotta hit them two numbers, pow, that's it. One minute, 30 seconds, you done. So when he said wait on him, you're like, seriously? I got a microwave, I got three minute rice. I got all this stuff right I can do. Are you serious? Don't you think this plays a part in how I process waiting on him? Everything's instant. Listen, you can get along today, go online. You can pull up your phone. Maybe you just had a set appointment. Go to the bank. You got to go sound them people and fill out paperwork. You can do all this all the phone. Like, listen, I'll send you a link right now. Yeah. You see, check your email. You got it. You, got going out. you start filling in study process. We can do this now. What y'all think all this about? So when this man talking, it's hard to take what he's saying. Because everything there is quick. You can get an answer in 24 hours. See, everything is quick. You can run through a car wire, two minute, three minute car wire. Man, you had to get out there, you had to get a bucket, or you're going to go to pay the other one, and you got to put that soap, and you're going to get that dish detergent, and you're going to eat the clock in the car, put that water in that bucket, you got to get old style, you got to wash it, you got to dry it, and wash dry then that thing, when it wash it, it dry it off, and put the armor all on there. Isn't that right? So I ain't going to back up, anybody going to ride it here anyway. Isn't that right? Keep moving. But I'm just saying, everything moves so fast, and we don't realize a lot of times why things change, because it really dampens or changes the way you process waiting on him. Because everything is so instant. Everything can be done so easy at fingertips. It's like, why am I going to wait on somebody to come back here some hundreds of thousands of years, or whatever years going to be back, when all this stuff you can do yourself. You don't have to wait anymore. It does play a part with how you look at salvation. And you have to look at, is there really a need? Because if you don't see yourself in a situation where you've never been on target, so how did you ever process or how you process obtaining something if you don't realize you've been off the whole time? And then see the need of why you need to get on target. Y'all got it. So you can stop missing whether deliberately or intentionally or unintentionally. It still comes up to failure. Okay? So you can't say, oh, well, he, he, if I don't know I'm off, then no. It don't make a deal. You're still off. If it's not your intent. I'm un I honestly didn't mean to do it. You're still off. So we got to start looking at trying to lessen, as they say, the margin of error by taking certain things out from conversation to association to other things we do to make sure we actually get down to the real legitimacy of understanding the need of being delivered. Y'all got it? Or uh, uh, rescued, okay? Or being rescued. So we, we looked at enslaved. So let, let's go back to this uh, 6 and 23. 6 and 20, where we left off at, Roman. I'm trying to get ready to let y'all go. Get ready to take up the money. Get them up. What a friend we... Look like black folk give better than hear that name. <laughs> All our sins. Uh, 6 and 20 of Romans. Listen. But when your mic is on, come on up, uh, little punch of train. For when you were Abedim of Qatar. So, when, so when you, he talked about now from the English, it told us about being servant. It talked about being in a house, being under uh, leadership. So now you look at when you were Abedim, because now this refers to a person being in a position. Of mainly when they looked at it for Yasharal, Yasharal always looked at them not at them just working at. They worked at them actually being enslaved. That was part of the punishment, which was equivalent to their behavior. 
You know, sometimes people say you don't act like a dog. You act like a dog. How you doing? I'm going to do something to you because you act like a dog. They would give you certain things or treat you certain way because this is how you act. So he looked at it because you commit sin. Sin will put you in a violation, which <clears throat> means that you became the servant of. So since you became the servant of and you the one serving him, then I put you under what you were serving. You did wrong. I put you under. You look like, you know what, man? Man, the way you treat me is wrong. You ain't going to believe why. Because you did wrong. How was you going to process it? See, if you looked at how bad your captivity was and how strenuous your punishment was, then you'll process some things too on, wow, how bad was I? You know what I'm saying? How damaging was this situation? How damaging was You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't that bad. But when you have to process what you've done and look at where you at and how long you had to do it, then you have to really say, wow, this is really bad, huh? Hello? Like you might have stole something one time, now every time you look around, people treat you like a thief. You say, wow, I stole one little time, everybody got a thief. They're looking at you, yeah, you're a thief as I'm concerned. You're like, so is it that bad I'll never be forgiven? I'll always be looked at as? See that? Not until you can be redeemed. That was the purpose of what he did. We always <clears> looked <throat> in the state of, you know, but then he even asked one time, was Yasharal a homeborn slave? Mm -hmm. He said, you're a homeboy because you constantly keep going in this. You're constantly keep putting you back in the bondage. And you wonder why you keep getting put here. It's because your acts are acts of bondage. <clears throat> this is what your acts get you. And we'll set around. The average of us sat down and we try to consider why things happen to us or why things happen. You, and you, you don't know why. You, you have no idea. You do know why. You'd be a fool to say you don't know why. That's why right. wouldn't you know? Because of the actions that you keep portraying, he said, these are the consequences of the actions. This is the only way I can get you to consider your latter end. Although we might say, you know, I just feel like in fact, other people don't suffer like I suffer. You don't, you don't know why? They're going to pay for it later. They're going to pay for it. Listen, you got two choices. You can pay now, pay later. Y'all done seen that before. You done went to stores. Buy now, pay later. So that means you don't have to pay? And some people come to the red. You know what they say? I can't believe this stuff this high. And they're going to pay for it now. You, you say, I, I, I get the 90 days same care or, or two years or one year entry free and I pay it then. And you ain't going to believe what happened in one year or two years. You ain't going to believe it. You ain't got it. Some stuff happened. I sure thought I was going to have it. Like these people out in the street, they think they're going to be ready when they move and they go to judgment. I, I, be, I mean, when it comes, you know, I'm going to be straight. He said, you know what? That's why I ain't going to give it to you now. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting you real crooked and bent up and crippled. And I'm saying, time for my part. Hold on for a minute. I ain't know I was going to be like, you should have paid You should have paid at the register. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you picked to pay later. Because now I'm here to collect. Y'all got it. People don't realize when I come on here. This is an attempt collect the debt. to collect the debt. That's why I'm here. It's an attempt to collect the debt. Huh? Don't y'all know these messages are always being recorded for quality assurance? To make sure no side deal get covered, nobody. But everybody got to come in, brother Red. By the door. Straight, narrow path. That's why we're here. Ain't no deal getting cut from me. Ain't no deal getting cut from you. Everybody got to just look. We got to cut this mess out and get it right. That's right. We procrastinated and hesitated entirely too long. You can't keep, at some point, when do you change for being the person that you are? Okay. You think about this. If he came to save us from our Qatar, missing them all, missing what state were we in? Hello? I was in Georgia. What state were we in? Uh, we was in a bad state. We was in a bad situation. You need to know that. That's why you see other people die without. And he let you come into the knowledge. These people died. These people without it. These people can't get it. There's no rescue in these people when you get to this point. But I rescued you. I gave you favor. Abraham did nothing. There's nothing. Abraham would say, ever since I was a little boy, I used to practice. I did. I felt like in my heart one day he coming and he gonna come and get somebody out. house. Had no idea. He told you he did absolutely nothing. I chose you and I brought you out. He chose you. You know how you consider you why you mean everybody in my family gonna die? Everybody. 
Everybody that don't come out by your hand, by your way, they're going to die. I know my family. That's not them. They're not going to do it. Then they're going to die in their kataim. And in fact, I give you the nod, and I brought you out, and I chose you, and I set you forth for this. to make your harmony consult. Could have did that for somebody else. Now, you can complain about not having a car, not owning a home, not being married, not having kids, not being rich successful. But it's plenty of people got that. He's not going to yash them, though. He's not going to rescue him. So you have to do your math. What good is all that? Say he give you all that. Then he kill everything he gave you and let you keep living without it. This the dick. Because you know how we process? I'll be honest. To have a family and be able to have money, have someone go, that beautiful, have that. But then he let you get it. And then he wind up taking the money. He take the family he gave you and let, him out, and let you keep living. And realize, now what was the profit in what you had? Now you write better, and now you still got, and then you still got to meet me in my spot. It's just too many ways he can come in and get, get, cause the, you ain't getting for a long. How long can you get him for a long and a long? It's like, it's temporary. You and them, y'all gonna moot. So you look at what are you, what are you um, 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 trading out? You willing to trade out your nefarious your soul that you can have? 30, 20, 40, and you living long enough, that time, will come. how many of y'all 40 in here now? How many of y'all remember when y'all was like two and three, maybe four? How many of y'all, how far 40 look? How long, even though it took you, it, from two, it took you 37 years to get it, how would, that a long 37 years to get there? See, that seemed like you blinked one day and you was 37, 37 years later, you had 40. So how long could your pleasure last? How long can your enjoyment last? How long can you last? You can cry as long as you can laugh. So when you start to consider life, uh, Kai, and how it works and exists and all the things you get and everything that's entangled with it, you really got to consider this thing. Look at, I, you, we really need to process what this man has given us. What kind of state were we in that you look at, you will put people away and they'll never live again and they'll suffer. How bad is, think of it, the fact that you were burned for, what is it, 20 minutes, what, probably an hour? Forever and ever without end. How bad does he see this stuff that we call immoral acts of right and wrong? How, how serious is that? Immoral, how bad that sound? You committed an immoral act of right and wrong of human character. That sound like burning, that, that conversation sound like burning without end. Even with missing, it don't sound as tragic. But when you're associated with, that's it. You're done. You can't ever come back. That's it. That made me consider, I don't, I don't want to miss again. I don't, I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss. If, it, if it's going to be associated with, I'm going to burn, it's going to be without remedy. You know, we don't have a remedy for something. There's no cure. And that's what they looked at. There's no cure for it. When you move and you're in this condition, it's like an illness that there's no remedy for it. You can try to lay on your side, that hurt. Have you, have you ever been so sick, you lay down, you feel bad, you stand up, you feel nauseous, you need to lay down, and you, oh, and then you lay on your back, that ain't working. You, in fact, you're gonna choke, you lay on your stomach, and like, this ain't comfortable. It's like, it's not a remedy. He said, that's how it's gonna be when I come back and I execute mosh pot. There's no remedy if you ain't got this thing right. You ain't gonna be able to stand up and get out of it. You ain't gonna be able to lay down and get out of it. You ain't gonna be able to lay on your back and you ain't gonna be able to lay on your stomach or your side. Nothing's gonna be, nothing's gonna be a cure for you. And they understood that. He explained that to them. He said, I wanted you with the wound. How would an enemy wound you? Kind of way, well, I don't wanna really hurt you. Somebody hate you, how would they wound you? He said, that's how I do. He said, and when I chastise you, you know, because he made sure you understood the difference. Because he said no chastisement is good for the moment. But he talked about the other chastising you. He wanted to make sure there's a difference. He said, now I chastise you as a cruel one. I don't want you to convince. I don't want, want you to consider when I'm beating you to that point that this is the same chastisement of a father. 
as an abba, this is the chastisement of a cruel one. Like when you was in Miss Ryan. Because, you know, they beat you. They beat you like you were their child, didn't they? Or you heard people say, I'm going to beat you like you stole something. That's a different. He said, that's how I did it. I beat you like you stole something without remedy. And I'm saying all this for all of us because we have got to make changes and realign, reassess what we're doing to make sure we sadiq, make sure we're righteous to the point of no failure. And the point of no failure is to just make sure we understand it, make sure we got it, and then make sure we maintain. Y'all get it? When we get it, we want to halak according to. Okay? But I want us to, to really, I guess he wanted, not me. I'm sorry if I said me. But I, I have the same intent. I just want to make sure we get this thing. Sadiq, I want to make sure it's right. I want to make sure we line and measure this thing up that at the end of the day, when moot comes, it ain't fall. It ain't fall. And um, don't have yourself so wrapped in the people and things at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, you got to save yourself. A person fall away, a person don't get it. I can't feel sorry for you. I'll be honest with you. You have the same opportunity, all of us have, to make that decision. You don't have to, you don't have, to have a, a, a degree, a diploma. You don't have to have an elementary diploma. You just got to have a mind to sit down. And everybody can sit down and explain to them another well. These are decisions you make. If your decision is quit, stop, don't, that's your decision. I'll be the last person to feel sorry for you because this is something you want to do. For me, I'm making a decision. This is what I want to do. I want to make sure I got it right. And that's more important to me than any other thing. Yes, you will struggle with natural things and things you want, you desire, because you're flesh. Your flesh don't just die and give up for what it wants, whether it's sex or whatever it might be, or drinking. or not. It don't give up for that, but you still have to constrain it. This is part of you breaking yourself away from something that wants to contain you and make you a servant again, an abad. Y'all got it. But as free people, we got to do just like Shemshun. Who, let, who, who untied Shemshun? Self. Hmm? Self. That's right. Because part of that was his, that was him being captured, him being taken, that was him and his Sadiq. Now, he was going to have why was Alahim going to come and break him loose? Alahim did it? Alahim made him go and do it? No, you make choices. You make choices based on what you like. And you put your trust and your confidence in things and people. At the end of the day, our confidence got to be in Alahim. And although his Lord went after something, and his Lord desired something, practicality is, this is what he gave him. So when you don't fit inside that, and no matter how good you look or how tempting it is or how ravishing or how, or how wanting I am of it, I got to look at I'm going to miss the mark. I'm going to miss the mark. And I can't afford to miss the mark fooling with you. That's what anybody, it can be your mom or your dad, your sister, your husband, your wife, your kid. At the end of the day, my wife, anybody, listen, I ain't missing no mark for nobody. Everybody make their own choice. I ain't trying to feel sorry for nobody you fought. That's just, let me tell you something. Everybody here got the same information. How you want to take it and you want to use it, that is clearly up to you. The information don't make me want to go out here and say, you know what, man, I can live how I want to live. It don't matter. That's just dumb. But when you allow yourself to be open to and you will accept in any and everything and that's where you're at, then that's where you want to be. Because at the end of the day, you ain't got to be where you're at. Everybody had to take correction. Everybody got to make adjustments. At the end of the day, it's your defiance. It keeps us on a humble state. When you realize I can make a mistake, I can miss, then it makes me to be more cautious. <laughs> you got a night you run down here and they count and you miss it. You ready to just jack that thing up as soon as they touch your hand? You ready to shoot it? Or you want to think about it? I can want You remember that football player for uh, what got missed all on field goal? How you think he started filling out the number two? I really don't want to do that. I miss, and everybody looking. This is in front of everybody. You miss three straight. You're thinking, mm mm. And you know how he had to feel? You, he understand what Cartel is missing. You know how bad he had to feel? It don't matter if folk come up petting him saying, well, how that change what he did? What about the fact they won? That changed it. They looking at me, you miss. It's going to be hard to count on you. I can't count on you. Now you put yourself in a state where, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't count on you. 
I don't want Mr. Hood to look at me and say, you know why I've been with you. I can't count on you. That will kill me, literally and figuratively. This is a, these are the things we need to consider. Can the man count on us? And a lot of it had been because we've never really sat and looked at this to this magnitude. What, how does he really view this? Well, I know I done boy y'all, and um, that's up to y'all, but uh, what's meant and where it was supposed to go went. Make no mistake. What's meant went exactly where it was supposed to go. What then went where it was supposed to go? Because at the end of the day, he's going to be the final judge of everything. It's for everyone to consider, it's for everybody to do, it's for everybody to look at getting this thing right. And we got to look at how things come into play. We got to look at relationship. We got to look on historically how he's done things. That's the pattern I look for to see, does this look like it fits a certain behavior? That's it. That's what they look at. Now, they just, like, all right, uh, Ain't Smith, she killed, uh, she killed somebody breaking her house. I got a title for her, serial killer. No, because that's the second time somebody broke her house, she shot him. Serial killer. Why not? She's done it more than one time. So you can put the wrong title on the wrong situation. So like you thinking you're right. That's what I don't want to do. He said there's a way that seem right. That's a drop. That'll seem right. So how could it seem right unless it like kind of, you know what I'm saying? It, it bears some. It shows some resemblance. Come on. Come on, some people got locked going, look like I been, because it looked like, but it, it's not. You really say it's not. I showed because I seen some familiar looking things. Some people got lost from that. Because they're like, hold on, I'm thinking, I don't, did I? So it's some thing, and, you, and you'll keep going, and the further you go, you get more and more. Oh, I don't want to do that, and I don't want us there. Y'all understand that? I don't want you there. I don't want to be there. So we really have to sit back and look at we really want to be honest. When we let out, when we, when we pull out, when we get up, we want to be honest. I said, I had the same plot. That's, that's really what I want. I'll be honest. I don't want him to, he don't, he don't have to give me no another car or none of that. That ain't, that ain't what I want. That's something I do. That. I don't ask somebody no stuff. I don't ask somebody, give me a business. I won't get it. I don't. I, that's not, I'm not, I really not. I'm, I'm tired of that. I, I want to, this is what I'm concerned about. Us being what we need to be, us being genuine, us being honest, and us being realistic about this the plan. We just got to go through and look at it and make sure we get it right. Make sure we honest with us. Make sure we're looking at this. What's the real need of this? Because when you're going in life, it look like, I mean, come on. Everybody doing something. I mean, the world just where it is. If people good, they don't care. They keep going. But for some of us, it's an alarm to say, you, you know, how long can it, how long? When will you ever remember California getting flooded? How many of y'all been, when y'all ever remember California being told war? California would have earthquakes. They used to say song, I wish they all could be. That's so what, what you think people are looking for? A California girl. That's, California made blondes. When you went, if you was a white woman, you went to California, you dyed your hair blonde. It's a known fact, blondes have more fun. So what a woman gonna do, she got to show brunette. Then they start looking at a redhead would be an outstep. If you was a pretty redhead, they said because it's different. But I'm going to be honest, you'll never get the highlights of blonde again. Charlie Angels had two brunettes. Who was the most famous one on them? The blonde. Farrell Fox, the blonde. Because blonde stood out. When you did show, blonde stood out. So they put that imagery out there. And now, California, they put the sex look out there. It's the bikinis, it's the small bodies, it's the whole works of. Now he look like he's taking everything down. Everything, New York put fashion. A lot of these people put stuff, he's tearing these places apart. Because they're looking at, these are the people that set your standards. And now look at you. Homosexual, everybody knew San Francisco was the home, the home state for homosexual. They start growing sis and put them in the mail. People are getting, you know, people getting mail laying it down instead of opening it up. Sisters are getting, getting fat and fat in the envelope. They come out, they want to know the mail busted off. They're like, man, someone owe my mail. Sister busted out. You get mail from California, put it back in the box. Like Fred said, I'm saying. He, Lamont brought them bills in there. He said, put them back in the box. He said, ain't got no money. Put it back in the box. He said, don't make, what if I take some bills? I ain't got no money. Y'all get a letter. It said, California. 
Put it back in the back. That's another one. There now. Open it. Before you open it, put it on the ground. Stop it. You hear that? Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> you hear that? You know what happens? Say, got it. Put your man just Put it on. Ah! <laughs> got it. Now you thinking you the waited. All right? <laughs> That's stupid. 